Welcome to this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Today I am trying a beer that's actually one that was done specially for a the Rare Beer of the Month Club that I'm a part of, which I would highly recommend. It's through BeerMonthClub.com. It's their rare version. Um, they are great with customer service, just to let you know. Uh, if you have any sort of issues, they do everything they can to take care of that. On top of that, they put out some really good beers. They do a lot of Belgian styles, so if you're not into Belgians, um, there is that kind of drawback. But they have a lot of like special um, offers that happen throughout months that are definitely worth it. Really cool things. And this beer was actually um, part of one of the special offers um, that I got a few extra bottles of. So I was very interested to check this out. Um, this is by Grand Teton Brewing out of Victor, Idaho. Uh, this may be the first time I'm having a beer from Idaho. I haven't had any Grand Teton before. But yeah, this was especially done for the Rare Beer of the Month Club, which is pretty cool. It's a 2014 vintage. was just done a few months ago. Uh, it's a Belgian-style ale with spices, but then also rum barrel-aged, which... I haven't had a whole lot of beers that are rum barrel aged, so I've been wanting to try more and more and more. So um, I'm thinking the you know the backdrop of the the Belgian style with the rum on top of it could be very nice. Um, it's 8.5 percent alcohol by volume. Kind of surprised by that fact because I would think you know when you're rum barrel aging something, it's probably going to pick up a lot more um, alcohol to it. But hey, you know. So there you can see it's Grand Teton. I mean, it's mountains. So, you know, nothing all that special with the label, but hopefully it is a special tasting beer. Pour this in. I did get a little bit of a whiff of, like, spirits as soon as I opened it up. You know, that kind of, like, li liquor scent. All right, so it's a nice, it's a very deep color. It's like a reddish-brownish coloration, very deep, but it is also filtered. I can see through it. Um... A little bit hazy just because of the coloration. Ooh, I can definitely smell, first of all, the rum in there and that kind of sweetness that rum imparts on beers. And it gives it like a, this extra kind of like caramelly note as well. But then I immediately start getting that kind of Belgian yeast uh, scent to it with a little bit of like banana, a little coriander, stuff like that, some weediness. Ooh, but that rum, you can definitely smell the rum, and it's up front every time you take a whiff. It smells pretty nice. Ooh, a little bit of like a, kind of a cherry note in there as well, which is really interesting. A little sourish smelling the more I sniff on it too, which probably has to do with the spices kind of coming together. Not sure what spices are in it. Actually, kind of oddly enough, has a little bit of kind of like a tart tinge at the end of it, and I'm t definitely tasting like it's kind of like a dark Belgian style. Definitely get the rum flavor, which is sweetening it up and uh, giving it kind of like a little bit of like a spice note, you know, maybe like a little cinnamony, that caramelly aspect is in there as well. Um... It's kind of a little lemony, that tartness on the end, a little lemony, and it finishes with a, with not a lot, but a little bit of that kind of like liqueur burn, you know, the rum coming through in it. 8.5% alcohol. It probably tastes about that, except for that little bit of a burn at the end, which maybe would make you think closer to like 9 or 10. But it's interesting because... When, you, when you're taking sips, your initial feel is there's no alcohol almost in this. Like, it's very low. So then if you just kind of, like, sit, then you start to get a little bit of that burn at the end. It's kind of drinking like it's two separate beers, honestly. It's it's two experiences. It's that kind of a little bit of, like, a sour-ish Belgian ale at first with some spice to it. And then it switches over to, like, the caramelly notes, the aspects of, like, the the uh, wood that it was barrel aged in and then you know the finish with the rum with that kind of burn so it's kind of two things I'm not extremely big on it it what I will say it's not as pleasing as I was hoping it would be but it's definitely interesting and I would say definitely worth a try it's not a bad beer by any stretch of the imagination it is solid um, so 
that would be my recommendation. If you liked some of the uh, aspects you heard, then you should check that out. Take one more sip. Yeah, there's definitely kind of like this, this sourness to it, which I don't know if that was intentional or not, but interesting beer, definitely. Uh, like I said, the Rare Beer of the Month Club through beermonthclub.com is really good. So everybody check that out. But more importantly, go grab yourself an awesome beer to try, and thanks for checking this out.